Today I'm in the uh, in the shop, in the old shop, not the uh, the barn. I've been uh, doing a few things. I've been working a little bit on the uh, axle for my cattle trailer. Uh, I've got the uh, the uh, spindles all cleaned off here. I've decided for my uh, the tubing part of my axle to use uh, this two inch square by quarter inch steel tubing uh, for one thing because it's stronger than the round tubing that uh, was on the original and uh, for another thing I actually happen to have this piece laying around so I will uh, use my hand grinder and uh, square the ends of these off so I can slip them into the uh, the square tubing. I, I will probably make a jig to make sure I uh, have them all square when I weld them on there. So uh, that's that's what I need to do now. Do this uh, ground grind those off and uh, make a jig to weld them on there. And of course, I've also got uh, as you can see my uh, 76 F150 in the shop here. Been working out a little bit. Uh, getting ready to uh, to change the engines. I've got a few things collected for here. I've got a pair of uh, new coil springs for the front. Of course, the, uh, the uh, six cylinder engine is a lot, excuse me, is a lot lighter than the, uh, than this FE V8. So it takes a different, a different spring to get the correct ride height. I've got the, uh, the original radiator out and this radiator is <laughs> these are huge and of course uh, as you can probably see this one's starting to get a little bit rotten this this I believe to be the original radiator I've never changed the radiator in this and uh, like as I said before I've owned this truck for 22 years now and uh, to replace that I've got this I bought this new radiator uh, I think I got this from Rock Auto. It's uh, it's aluminum, uh, not horribly expensive, and it's got, of course, it's got the outlets on the right side, on the correct place for the uh, for the six-cylinder engine, and uh, it's sized correctly for the new engine. So that should be good. So uh, yeah, I've been collecting a few of these uh, replacement parts, and. Uh, well, as long as I'm talking about replacement parts, I will uh, I will share a little something else uh, today. I uh, anyone who's been watching my channel for a while, my YouTube channel knows uh, knows my story. I've I've uh, talked about it a number of times. You know, I'm, I milked cows here for for about 40 years until about five years ago when I. Uh, when I had to quit because I physically couldn't do it anymore because of the arthritis in my in my legs and uh, legs and back. I'll just step outside here. Yeah, it's kind of foggy and misty today. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, over the past four months or so, my mobility has been really going downhill. Uh, basically, about four months ago, my right hip kind of blew up and uh, got really bad it really it was really ugly during during corn harvest or if i if i do a lot of uh, a lot of physical activity so uh so anyway uh on the theme of replacement parts i just want to let you know that uh about three months from now uh sometime in late march uh i'm going to be getting a shiny new right hip so uh <laughs> uh it's yeah, the timing isn't great, but I, I want to get over with the, that's when I could get in. So uh, that's what's going to happen. So uh, starting in late March, I'm going to be laid up for a couple of uh, a couple of months, probably. Uh, it's going to be OK. I've got decent insurance and uh, I've got a good support system, lots of people to help me. So that's that's good. But uh, yeah, that's uh, I'm looking forward to being uh, <laughs> to being 
to gaining my mobility back and being able to uh, to move around better than I am now. Uh, I'm going to keep working in the shop and uh, and keep plugging away and kind of hobbling along. And uh, so I want to get my truck done uh, ideally before uh, before surgery. But uh, so we'll just keep on keeping on. I'll uh, I'll keep working on my projects here until uh, <laughs> until it's time to take some time off to recover. So. Uh, that's the update here from southwest Wisconsin on this uh, on this foggy, misty day. So until next time, have a good day.